Hello everyone. I'm at uh, F35. And I'm going to put it in the center. See what how it goes. So uh, 35 millimeter F1.8 at F8. It might be a little bit bright. I could go 16. Yep, 16. Let's do it 16. 1 60th shutter speed. Manual in uh, video mode where I can control the aperture and the uh, shutter speed. And I can see my voice. Okay. And I'm going to go to uh, down Nacogdoches. These guys are almost done with the fence, but I think they would be here working, trying to finish it up. They're not here yet. So I got it in the center. This is a different perspective on a 35 millimeter. I moved it up closer to the lens. So you get less of the dash and uh, windshield wiper. It is stabilized. The reason why I have it there is because the vent. Um, it's 74 degrees right now, what my car is saying. So just like yesterday. Uh, for you people that uh, <clears throat> like the centigrade uh, temperatures, Anything below 28 is good for me. So my voice sounded real good yesterday. I don't have it in a pocket. I don't have a handkerchief on, you know, overlapping it. I got it between my uh, second and third button, and I'm hoping that the uh, strap doesn't uh, mess with it. The sound. My seatbelt, that is. So I just went to bed last night. I, I looked at the uh, hurricane that's uh, approaching Florida. It's a slow moving. If it stalls, they're going to get a lot of rain and a lot of flooding. And uh, they're also scared that it might pick up speed. 
Let's see. Is the only other bad part of it. So I shot some more deer last night. Playing around with the apertures and uh, shutter speed and stuff. Um, I don't like putting it on auto from the camera because uh, then you start getting stuttering. Now I'll trust Nikon. I'll trust Sony in some ways, but with um, Canon, uh, I think I'll try it in the manual mode or in one of the other modes like aperture, program, shutter speed, you name it. I even tried it in manual. I like leaving it on auto ISO. Day. I don't even see a cloud in the sky. <clears throat> I might see a little air pollution. It's not as bad as Denver. Uh, a higher altitude, uh, the more spog. Uh, California's bad, but I can see it today. So usually they have a, an alert. One thing about the pandemic, Kept a lot of cars off the road.
you be using your mobile app? No, ma'am. Okay, how can I help you? Can I have a large mocha frappe? Yeah. Anything else? That's it, thank you. Good morning. Thank you very much. Bye. Ah. Hey. That machine taking forever. We have a new machine. Oh, yeah? Oh, I prefer the old one. Oh, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Have a day. You too. can't pull out because I'm too far or too close to this vehicle. And he's taking off too. That's good. All right. So, overheating warning came up yesterday, but after I turned off the engine and I was in the garage for about 30 seconds, just one bar. Uh, when I was driving to work yesterday, no overheating warning. And at 74 degrees outside. Same temperature. Love it. I got my frappy mocha, I'm happy. Midweek. I'm going grocery shopping uh, tonight. It's 
stock up for the pets. So the reason why I had the 35 millimeter, okay, the guy's working on the light, hope he doesn't mess with it. Is that uh, try the 24 millimeter, that I try the 35 millimeter, see which one I like better. I like the 35 better than the 50. I like the uh, 24 millimeter better than the 16 and uh, this lens is stabilized so why am I using the R10 I think it's more stable than the Z30 and the ZV-E10 I bet you didn't see that coming. On the uh, ZFC, I still have a, I still love it, but I think the R10 is much better. Especially when you're hand holding and you're taking video, you don't see the, um, how can I say, uh, not like the panoramic or uh, moves, but you know, it's it just like, you have it stayed in one place and then you turn move to the right and then you see not stuttering but it stops and then it moves real quick and then it stops moves so it's not very good on motion whereas the r10 it's very good in motion i don't care about the uh, rolling um, shutter I think that's what you call it. Um, I don't move it that fast anyway when I'm turning. I've always had great auto focusing. I love the R7 and I'll probably take that on the trip with the A7C. I'm not going to bring a Nikon with me because I'm there for work. So what I gotta do is I'm gonna put Ecamm on my uh, laptop, the M1 uh, MacBook Air, and uh, take it there. So I can still do some vlogging around, show off mess, uh, Arizona, help my mom out. Oh man, something's going on. So, uh, I'm coming to the end of this vehicle. Uh, I mean, uh, this car vlog, I should say. So I just want to say, if you like it, please give me a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Any questions, just leave it in the comments below. And as always, stay safe, keep smiling. Until next time, bye.